have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. When you have a choice that is this clear, <clears throat> when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, understands the struggles and pain and joy that comes from those experiences. Who's had to work harder and do more and overcome. And you're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. Part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Mm -hmm. And so now, you're thinking about sitting out or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you because you think that's a, a sign of strength because that's what being a man is, putting women down. That's not acceptable. So since we have Obama speaking to black men, because a lot of black men don't have fathers, I'm going to say something controversial. Just like in 2020, when you had a lot of people voting for Joe Biden because they hated, they hated Donald Trump. That's why you see a lot of black men voting for Donald Trump in 2024, because they hate their mothers. I'm going to say that again. You have a lot of people in 2020 who voted for Joe Biden because they hated Donald Trump. In 2024, you're going to have a lot of black men vote for Donald Trump because they hate their mothers. And I'm saying this right now. That's not a reason to vote, but it kind of goes back to the statement of who hurt you. A lot of women like to use who hurt you as an I got you moment, but typically if someone hurts you, there is a reactionary action that comes from somebody hurting you. So if you have a lot of black men that have bad mothers, piss poor uh, mothers or mothers that was loose in the street, wasn't given any guidance, was never there, always at work, let the streets raise you. It's going to be kind of hard for you to look at Kamala Harris, even if she does identify as a black woman, which I don't think she's black, but now she's been identifying more and more as a black woman for you to go to the ballots, get up, stand in line and cast your vote for the lifestyle that you yourself as a black man have lived. That would be very, very difficult for you to do. The reason that I say that is because I see so many men online that come from a single mother household who have an issue with the things that they deal with now internally. No emotional intelligence, very sensitive, don't understand authority. So Obama speaking to black men could go either way. You have the black men who are longing for a father. Then you have the black men who don't understand authority and no man can say anything to them because they were raised with nothing but women. So when Obama has these talking points and talking to these young men, what for? Because most of the men that you see, these men, that's these renegades, these women out here raising, the ones that's out here doing these mad shoes with these switches and these drums on these guns that shoot 30 rounds in two seconds, you know, the, the bang, bang, shoot them up niggas out here. Those typically are what you're going to get in the black community that are raised by a single mother. So even if he trying to chastise black men, trying to guilt trip them into making black men vote, it's not going to work. I'm going to say this, too. It's crazy that in 2024, we have so many people that want to address the black male 
specifically this time. I've been voting since 2008 and nobody ever addressed the black man. I think this these election cycles were the election cycles that they have been planning for for the last 60 years. And the reason that I say that is to break the family up, to use the woman as the voting block and the man to follow behind the woman is typically how this has went. But since black men and black women have been separated so long, you have a uh, you have black men who are able to think for themselves. They're not under the thumb or the oppression of black women so they could do and cast the votes the way they, that they see fit. Also, I'm going to say this. If they were thinking smart enough, they would have tried to find a way after they gave black women this power to put black women and black men back in the household together so the black woman can make sure she can watch over the black man at any chance she got. Because we know that the white man has used black women to oppress black men and the black community. This is a fact, and you can look this up. It's in your face. It's evident. I just watched a video from 1976, I think, and it was a group of black people talking to each other, and the black man was still the same stuff we're talking about today, telling the black, the black man was telling the black woman, the white man using y'all. The white man is using y'all and still been using y'all. But, hey, what do, what do I know? I'm just the... the the person from Birmingham, Alabama, been around black people all my all my life, seeing these talking points, seeing the, the issues that black men have dealt with, seeing how the government used black women and incentivized them to be piss poor mothers or have no control over their body. You know, it's crazy that we have this thing called my body, my choice. But when it comes to having sex, it seems to take two to make a child. When we all know that consent is typically relied on a woman. So when a woman says yes, it only takes one person to get pregnant or to really have sex because if a man is approaching you you know he's approaching you to have sex so he's already consented when he came there you did you decide and you're the gatekeeper of your vagina point blank period so when we have these people like obama coming out here telling us y'all need to vote for kamala because beating down or berating a woman is what being a man is. Do you know how crazy that sounds? Do you know how bad? Think about this. Do you know how bad of a candidate Kamala has to be for black men to say? If you think this, for black men to say, yeah, Trump is racist, but I'd rather vote for him than Kamala. Just think of that. If black, if you, what you just said, because these black men are trying to feel like a man or think that being a woman down or as somebody has shown that they denigrate you as a black man and black men are still deciding to vote for this person that is racist, that lets you know what's going on. She was a horrible candidate. What's even crazier about Kamala, this is a woman that said Joe Biden is racist and then became his vice president. Videos everywhere. She said at home out. One minute she says she's not going to go by Joe Biden's policies. And then she says the next minute her and Joe Biden are locking step with each other with the same policies. Crazy. I know. So how are, is he racist? Did all this stuff for busing when you were a child, but then you get become his vice president. That makes no sense. That's why I said politics is a nasty game and Kamala just isn't trustworthy. I would never trust anybody. And Kamala is the first person black card y'all should have took. And we driving this shit in the ground. She's the first person's black card y'all should have took when she told us she washed greens in the motherfucking tub. But I'm going to say this once again. The reason you have a lot of black men voting for Kamala because they hate their mama. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but like I say, it's a reactionary action if someone has done you wrong. I would not put nobody in the office that looks like the person that has abused me. I would not put anybody in the office that looks like the person or identifies as the person who has mistreated me. I would not put anybody in that office that looks like the person or identifies as the person who has was never there, who has 
never gave me anything to survive in life, who has been mean to me, who has made me her son, husband. I would not put those people, that person in office. You know why? Because I hate my mama. And Kamala, you identify as my mama. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Peace.